Hi y'all, Angela Prophet here, and I just got a brand new computer. I just got the brand new MacBook Pro, and I am going to show you how to set up a brand new computer from scratch, from complete scratch. So I'm just playing around with it right now. And the first thing that I did, I signed in with my Apple ID. And here's all the things that came over from my other laptop because it's an iCloud, which is amazing. So a couple of things that you first want to do whenever you get a new computer is take everything out of the dock that you're never going to use. So launch pad down here, I'm going to remove it from the dock. Um, I use all of these. I'm not going to use maps most likely, so I'm going to remove that from the dock. I don't use pages, numbers, any of that stuff because I put everything on Google Drive, which is awesome because it backs everything up. Um, don't really need the App Store in my dock. Don't need settings in my dock but I am using it right now, but I'm going to go to options. Um, well, I'm using it right now and I'm using QuickTime right now to record my screen. So what I did with QuickTime is um, whenever I opened it, I went up to file new screen recording and then the little red button popped up and I made sure that I changed the microphone to internal microphone to make sure that it was recording what I was saying. So that's the first thing you want to do. Second thing you want to do is go through your system preferences. And if you don't know how to get there, there's a couple ways. You can take five fingers and close them on the trackpad and your system preferences is going to be here. I am super type A, so I like to have all of my things in order. I like to put system preferences up here because I often do use it. Um, and the next thing, I literally like to go through all of my stuff and like set it up. Um, so this is just an appearance thing. Um, my default browser is actually going to be Chrome. So I'm going to open up Safari and I'm going to download Chrome. So... So my internet's going. No thanks. I just want to download Chrome. All right, so we're, while we're getting that going and we're going to change the default browser right here, um, I do like to keep changes when closing documents. Uh, alrighty. So not too, too much going on in there. So I'm actually going to sign in right here into Google. Next thing I'm going to go in is desktop. So I will eventually... Oh my gosh. It's raining outside and my mom is texting me. I've got to set up my notifications. We'll get there in just a minute. Um, so I'm going to pick a desktop picture for now. Usually it's my dogs. Um, not really sure what that is. Mm, beach could look good for now. Um, until I get my little puppies up here um this could be good and if you want a screensaver it's really not that important to me so the dock you can position it in different places um i don't really do change anything there mission control Got all these shortcuts over here. So I'm gonna 
electron an hour. Not now. <laughs> so language and region is going to be, obviously, if you're in the United States, English, um, temperature, all that good stuff. Security and privacy, require passwords. I usually do mine 15 minutes, and it's going to ask me to sign back in. Oops, to make this change. This keyboard, and take a minute to get used to it. So you want to make sure in privacy under location services, these are the things that um, have my locations, location services right now. Um, so you want to make sure that you, again, set all this stuff up. Spotlight search, make sure that, and that's this little guy up here on the right. If you're searching for something and you can't find something, it's likely because it's not checked here. So be sure that it is checked. Ah, okay. Notifications. So I love Do Not Disturb. So calendar, I like for my calendar alerts to fly in and out. Um, I don't like sounds. So I turn that off. Same thing with FaceTime. Games, I turn completely off. I don't ever play games. Not interested. Same thing with iBooks. Don't want any notifications. Definitely don't want any mail notifications. Flying in and out drives me crazy. Um, for my text messages, I do like for them to fly in. Um, but I definitely don't like to see what it says. Um, so we can go in and change that in just a moment. For photos, I don't need any photos, notifications, reminders. I do like for those to fly in. And then Safari, I don't need any notifications from that. And again, these are just all personal preferences, guys. Um, I definitely want to try to get... Show message preview. I don't want to see the preview. <laughs> I just want to see who it's from. All right. I will start with the second row while we download Chrome. And I'll start here in the next video.